Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and this is an excerpt of a recent PowerUp webinar taking a look at video compression techniques inside Apple Compressor. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to change your audio compression settings to maximize quality and minimize file size. We have two options. We can do stereo or mono. If you are using music and you care about the quality of the music, set this to stereo. But for me, with my training, it's just my voice. I don't need stereo, I just need mono. Mono means that the sound comes out equally out both the left and the right speakers. The benefit to mono is that it's half the file size than stereo is. I only have one channel, not two. So I've cut my audio file in half in size simply by switching to mono. Another thing, although video records at a 48K sample rate, which is wonderful, it gives you a, a full dynamic range and full range of frequencies, 44.1 also has a frequency range that exceeds human hearing, and by going from 48 to 44.1 for stereo, you reduced your file size by 10%, and yet your audience is not going to be able to hear a difference. So if you are doing music, Set this to stereo, 44.1, and the data rate to 128. These are the correct settings for an MPEG-4 file. Don't use 48, you're just wasting space. If you have a narrator, a person talking, set this to mono. Change this, sorry, change the data rate to 64. Change the sample rate to 32. Mono cuts your file size in half, reducing the sample rate reduces the extreme high frequency, but it doesn't reduce it so much that it damages human voice. It would make music sound a little thick, but human voice is going to sound completely natural. In our case, when I compress stuff for my training, it's compressed at mono with a sample rate of 22050, sample rate even lower than this. And the data rate can be either 64 or 56. Both of them would work. I tend to be 64 just because I can afford to waste the space. But generally, you could go and the 56 kilobit mono 32 is going to automatically make your file about, before compression, it's going to make your file about 40% the size of a stereo file. So instead of compressing something which is 100% in size, you're compressing something which is 40% in size, which means your audio ends up even smaller than you had before. So this is how I set audio for voice, mono, 32, and 56. And for music, I set it to stereo, 44.1, 1, 128. That's my audio settings. This has been an excerpt of a recent PowerUp webinar taking a look at video compression techniques inside Apple Compressor. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinar 153A. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.